Sunday Telegraph now, and fraud is becoming so prevalent that it's a threat to national security, Cressida. It is. Um, the, the government uh, is actually going to take it more seriously. Fraud is going to be reclassified as a threat to national security under government plans. Um, it's going to be added to the strategic policing requirement, and that means that forces are going to be required by ministers to treat fraud as a major priority. Some people are saying the police are going to take this more seriously than painting their cars in rainbow colours. <laughs> I don't know if that's definitely going to happen. Um, but at the moment, apparently only one in a thousand offences are actually... You know about this, uh, don't you? Because you used to work in... in yeah, I was a criminal kind of... intelligence analyst. But yeah, one in a thousand fraud offences are actually uh, are solved. I mean, uh, uh, bear in mind, that is, uh, that, is, that is a far higher rate than burglary. But yeah, no, one in a thousand, that's, that's ridiculous. So these are day-to-day -day frauds like, you know, bank scams and all that kind yeah. of stuff. So my yeah, girlfriend yeah. is a complete victim for this kind of stuff. Maybe once every six months, she, like, comes to me with a new story. Uh, I woke up at midday one day and I had about five or six messages from her saying, right, I've had a call from uh, HMRC and I've gone to get some Amazon vouchers from the post office. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this whole message from him. And I'm like, don't do it, don't do it. She's like... If you oh, want to yeah. break up with her, you can just do the... I don't need to do it. No, I like being the smart one. That's um, all I've got. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, well actually... Think, well, do you think this, this could be why uh, the police haven't been tackling it? Because it's seen as, you know, almost a, a crime for some people. No, I'm not saying for your girlfriend, <laughs> but for some people, it's, it's a crime that they bring on themselves. I mean, you know, if, you, if you're, if you're wow. going to purchase Amazon vouchers... For HMRC, you know, surely some alarm bell should be going off somewhere. Yeah. I uh, think she just thought Amazon and the government had merged because it's both so big. But right, and know, they yeah. pay themselves with their yeah. own vouchers. And she got her Instagram hat. And it's, a, it's like a constant struggle for me to, like, put out fires. And I'm not particularly bright myself, so I kind of right. get brought in as well with the, the whole thing. But yeah, That's amazing. Apparently up to 300 people a year, lives are at risk. And at first I thought, well, that seems a bit From silly. Lives. Yes, because they get depressed and, and because their boyfriend might, mentions it on the telly. Um, it makes people self-harm and feel suicidal. Oh, right. So there are I feel some like very... I got the brunt of it. I had to sort it out. So, yeah. Well, we're all victims, pretty... aren't we? Things get more victim. expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Stop frauding, you ding-dong. <laughs> yeah.